in this video we will discuss how you can implement auto number for entities right so this is my revenue entity and if i want to create a new revenue let's say i have clicked plus button and now i want to so this is the revenue id which is the uh, auto numbering concept i have implemented if you provide any data here and if you automatically if you give some data here and save it it will automatically generate the revenue id now how it is generating right if you want to concatenate some uh, static text also with this number you can use uh, do that but let us first understand how this gets generated right how it is for if i will now it is for if i will create another one it should be five you cannot edit this right so you can just uh, give some data again and try to save this now this time the revenue id will be five so how this is implemented what is the design how the plugin will work right let us understand this so first you have to configure some tables the first table is called as auto counter table which is a configuration table so open this table let me explain you what the table config configurations you have to do so in this table first you have to remember this table should be a configuration table so the type of table should be uh, the ownership should be organization okay and once you design this the uh, the default field name i have taken is current number right so this is the primary name field so i have given the name as current number and i have clicked save then i have added two uh, important fields one is note this is a custom field also i have added rule right and once i have added this two fields rule and note and current number i have kept all of this string data type you can see the text data type now once it is done i have i have gone to data and created a record created a record of this auto account auto counter table where i have mentioned first initially i have mentioned zero and note i have kept uh, blank and a rule auto number this is a static text i have given to the rule field and this is the guid of the uh, record right this is the, the the configuration record so first you have to create one record in this table you have to keep your first number from where your counter will start i have initiated i have initially kept zero so i have already created a five records so it is five right now once this configuration table is done your next thing is you have to add a column to to generate the auto number in your target entity so this is my entity revenue in the revenue entity i have created a field called as revenue id and this is the revenue id and i have kept data type as text so this is my uh, data this is my table configurations one is for configuration table to store the auto number business rule and another is revenue where i want to generate now why this two table is required is it possible to do in only one entity no because sometimes if you uh, if you just use one table to generate the auto number then sometimes there is a chance of duplication that's why we have to have a configuration table in background and where it will store the uh, current data counter current table record counter and we have to generate we have to use a update log to this table in plugin so that uh, in the meantime when the, the the next sequence number is generating nobody can update this number that's why this is important thing that we have to use a update log on this table so that we can read the highest number current number and we can add one uh, to this existing number and give that new number to the revenue id right now let us go to the plugin what i have done this is important you have to understand this plugin i have written first you have to write down all the necessary stops required for all plugins next you have to take a entity object and you you have to retrieve the target parameter this entity is nothing but the revenue entity right now i have written a fetch xml this fetch xml can be built using advanced find right if you go to advanced find option 
you can build your page xml here right so the page xml is i want to retrieve the auto counter configuration table information where the role is auto number so we treat a auto, auto counter table as a uh, as a configuration table so first i want to read what is the id of this record which stores the auto number and i sh i uh, have taken a variable where i will store the record id of this auto number uh, configuration table then once i have retrieved this record next is i want to initiate a update log as you know plugins are running in a transaction that's why if you use pre operational and post operation if you uh, do a update log on any table nobody can no process can be update can update this table at the same time so this update log is important that's why what i have done i have retrieved the id of this configuration uh, record and updated the node field just a sample uh, field i have taken note and i am updating log plus date time now today's uh, today's current uh, today's date time i am updating to this field to update this is not required but as to initiate a update log i have to update some uh, dummy field with a value right so once it is updated the update log is applied to this configuration table so nobody can update this table at, at this time now i can again retrieve the uh, current auto number which is already available in this configuration table again using the retrieve method uh, from this configuration table i am retrieving the current auto number available and storing in a variable and i am creating a new variable where i am uh, uh, where where i in where i increment one by the uh, value already available if it is four available then the new number will be five then once the new number is initialized i want to update the revenue right so i am updating the revenue id with the new value so once the revenue id is updated in the revenue entity next i have to update the new number new counter number in the configuration table so that whenever the new number new sequence number will be updated with the revenue record the same number will be stored in the uh, configuration table so that again when someone create a revenue record it will pick the recent number that's why i am again updating the configuration table with the new counter number right now once every line is completed execution completed the update log on the configuration table will lift off so once the update log is removed now any other plugin can update that auto numbering table right so this is important thing uh, this is the new thing uh, this is the thing that you have to always remember you have to initiate a update log on the configuration table right now i have to register this if you go to here i have registered this this one auto generate uh, generate auto number and here i have taken message create entity name and i have taken post operation as soon as the revenue record gets created it will update the auto number or uh, revenue number right so this is the concept the main concept is you have to use the locking system otherwise there is a chance of duplication okay so thank you for watching this video